So welcome back to another trip. Uh, today we are on the River Ant. <coughs> we put in at Wayford Marina, which is an easy put in. It's a marina and a, and a boat yard, and there's private moorings there, and basically there's small ladders on piers that take you down into the River Ant. So it's a very easy launch, as you can see when I paddled out. Um, and we're going to head down the River Ant to Hunset Mill, which is probably one of the most photographed mills on the broads because it's very, very, very picturesque. It is a private mill, uh, privately owned now, but very hard to get to. There's no road access. Um, the only access is via the river. And I want to try and get on the other bank to get some shots across the river at it, but I may wait. I set off later today, it's about three o'clock, because I wanted to try and get it in evening light. Hunset Mill is a beautiful mill. It's got a cottage attached to it and some modern sort of barns in between and being built. I think it's used now for lodging and for, for rentals. But um, it's a very old, and there's a mill been there since there's a stone inside the mill which dates to I think 1698 so there's a there's been a water mill on that site for for a couple of years now so basically the way to get to Hunset Mill is either here from Wayford but we're in the north end of the Norfolk Broads here so it's not really as easy to get to uh, so people either come up to it from Barton Broad or from Wayford Marina so beautiful down the river uh, thanks for joining me let's see what we see and see what photographs we get So actually this is a perfect spot to wild camp. I've been looking for a little spot to wild camp. And this would be a beautiful spot. Somebody's done it before, there's a remnants of a fire there. This is a really peaceful little pull in here. This marshland around. A bit of flat ground for a tent right on the river's edge. Hmm. Could be a future episode of me wild camping on the river and on this little spot. Stay posted.
So here we are at the mill. Beautiful, beautiful mill. Not surprised it's uh, very photographed. Even on a blue day, it's a beautifully immaculate mill. Not like the ruins I've been photographing recently. But the, the thing is now, it's trying it on the other bank, which is not easy. It's all marshland to try and find a spot to get a good shot. I may even get the drone up too. But that's Hunset Mill. Very, very pretty. So just across from the mill, I found a little area under this tree where I can just pull in with some hard ground. So that's where we're going to set up temporary camp. pulled up here and in fact my kayak is going to be in the shot because the shot I want to do is framing it with the rushes here the tree covering up the modern houses and just focus on the mill and the boathouse with the rushes in front so my kayak may have to move so I've actually moved the kayak out of the way now I took some shots with the kayak in for title of pages and it's a beautiful shot of the kayak in front of a mill which is what I do a lot of But um, so now I've moved the kayak out of the way because I want to get these rushes in the water in the foreground um, framing the mill with the tree framing the mill in the, ba in the background there and again trying to keep out the modern houses this side or the modern barn conversions so there's some really nice dappled light on the rushes and the base of the tree here which would be a really good foreground feature because when you shoot a landscape you want to draw the viewer in so you've got to have some interesting foreground to bring the eye to the foreground, through the middle ground, up to the subject in the background. So that's what we're doing here, we're drawing the eye across the uh, River Ant to Hunset Mill. Hopefully, see what we get. So we're going to pack up, pack in, pack out, leave no trace, and uh, head back, back up the river, with the wind behind us.
Hey. Hi, how are you? Hi. That was a great trip, and uh, even though we got blue skies, I think we got some good shots of the mill. So thanks for joining me on another kayak trips and photo tips of the Norfolk Broads. See you on the next one. <laughs>